past per million. I really believe that as the Africa Center for Holistic Management, we need to work towards coming back to that figure of 350. There are many reasons for, for that. It will sustain our own way of uh, living, but more than that, we believe that it is possible to go back to that figure. It has never been above 300 in the entire evolution of humanity. For over 3 million years, it's never gone above 300. But we're in a completely different climate chemistry right now in terms of CO2. So, there's an organization called 350.org, and their objective is to raise awareness about this, because scientists have said that 350 parts per million is the highest number we can be at and not have catastrophic consequences. So they're saying we can't go above this, but we already went above it. We went above it in 1988. And so the whole purpose of this organization, 350.org, is to raise awareness so we have to go back down. And this is a global movement, and I would say right now it's probably the biggest global movement there is. Building soils, doing what you're doing, is the number one way that we can get this number down. If we could get the climate change community to understand that the work we do here is this era, and that was Huggins, I have to credit you with that, that'll be huge. So what are the two things that put the most carbon into the air from most of the world's land? Fire and two few animals wandering around, donkeys, goats wandering around, and fire. And how much fire burns in Africa? Those are two billion acres every year. So the idea was that we would get another picture today with everyone. And I guess we just need to wait for the G-Wave. She's yeah. here. Oh, is she here? Yeah. Oh, all right. Switch. Switch out. Good. That is straight toward me. Back down. Yeah. 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 Cheese, everyone. Big smile. Cheese, cheese. Get those 350 signs so I can see them really well. Really well. Oh, excellent. As we tie down more carbon into the soil, and uh, also as we demonstrate that we should not be um, uh, responding to global warming uh, by mitigating it, but actually by changing, so that at least we arrive at the points 350. It is possible to do it.